Hapo nao. Your Majesty. The palace accountant reached out to me to say that you are asking for more money. Don't you think that you're spending too much? Hmm? You're spending too much. I think that you should get a job. Every month, we ensure that you get a fat check. Did you not get your monthly allowance? Your Majesty, I did. But it was too small for me, for my budget this month. Oh. I understand. That is why you need to get a job. And speaking of a job, I have always wondered why you turned down that job that came from the company. Come on. Your Majesty. You know your sister. I don't like stress. I always want to be pampered like the princess that I am. Oh. And live my life to fullest. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's who I am. Say it again. Keep saying it. You're wrong. You have to be resourceful, not malleable. Do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? You want to live a soft life, yet you don't want to be resourceful. Is this why you have rejected every man that have come here to ask your hand in marriage? Claiming that all your suitors are not up to your standard. You would have to make a choice at some point, up or now. It's either you get married or you get a job. Hmm? Your Majesty, that was too harsh. No, that was the truth. The truth is what you need. <laughs> oh, Gene, what is it? What is it? What is it? Huh? What? Huh? What? I am. Um... I will not let you do that this time. There is something wrong with your queen. Yes. And you better do something about it before it becomes a big problem to all of us. Up now, you must learn to stop reading names to everything. There is nothing wrong with her. She was probably having a bad. I had a funny dream and jacked up and ran to us. Look at you. You're trying to make excuses for her and it's not even coming true. My brother, if you have not noticed, I have. Your wife is behaving strangely. And I think something is wrong with her. Either she belongs to Marine Kingdom or something has possessed her. Find out. Up on now. Up on now, you can forget everything, but you're not going to forget that Ibube is my wife. The queen of Umezor, a kingdom. No one is allowed to speak about her in that manner. Like I said, I know you are going to dismiss me as usual. But I am telling you the truth as your sister because no other person can do that. And it is because you are my sister that will pass the guards to tie you up. I'm talking about my wife like that. This will be the last time I'm now. Don't do it again. My dear brother, do something about your wife before she will embarrass you before your cabinet. Excuse me. You don't understand the way that I feel. I'm fighting a battle, invisible one. I cannot explain, I cannot explain.
express myself I'm drowning in fear Fear of unknown oh. Oh. I feel that there is something wrong with you and I'd like for you to open up and talk to me about it. I am... Um, I'm sorry about what's happened out there. It's just... It's just that... This, there's, this, there's this. Large dream. Or just a figment of your imagination. Because you're stressed. These things happen. Hmm? I am of the opinion that you are stressed. And I think that she needs some time off. Hmm? Some time away from your royal duties here in the palace. I have told you to come with me. Huh? My friend is Odinaka would be happy to host us again. Look on the brighter side, my love. We'll spend time with him. We'll enjoy the festival. Hmm? Spend a few days on the short getaway. You clear your head before you come back here again. I think that would work for you. I would really love to, but not this time. Ah, I was there with you last year. I would rather stay back now, okay? Please. You won't blame me now for wanting to ensure that you're fine before I leave. I'm fine. Sincerely, I'm fine. Are you sure? <laughs> Very sure. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bube. You say you'll be fine, but then you still look worried to me. Gwabia. You know that I am going to be with you every step of the way. Huh? I'll be gone for a few days. If at any point you need anything, or something happens here, call me. You know, go. Why do you look so beautiful? <laughs> But to the best of my knowledge, you didn't have a lot of fun last year. <laughs> and I was just thinking that you come with me again because I know that my friend is on the knack. I'll be very happy to see that you come with me once again to celebrate, you know. Huh? I know, but um I'll pass. You'll pass. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> you know that I'll miss you, right? And I'll miss you too. <laughs> you just take good care of yourself. I'll try. Leave me cold. You do it right. Now I know you what it means to frustrate me. What wrong have I done to you? You are too basic to ask a woman what she wants from you. I've already asked you to leave this place. Do you want me to kill you before you do? Two 
truth is, I know that you are a spirit being, for I have seen you disappear before. You have been coming here with messages, but you haven't been lenient enough to explain for perfect understanding. Why are you asking me to leave my husband? Why are you threatening to kill me if I fail? Have you wondered why you are not able to conceive or bear a child for the king? Wait. You are responsible? I advise you live in peace. Or you will live in pieces. What is it? Why are you blocking my way? Who are you talking to? And why did you run out in that manner? Listen, I know you have liked me since I got married into this family. I don't know why. But this minute, I need you to just let me go. I will not let you divert from this topic. Just like you always do. Now, talk to me. I have this feeling that you belong to some married kingdom. Woman to woman. Can you tell me about it? I don't know what you are talking about. Of course you know what I'm talking about. This minute, you are acting like the queen. Acting cool. The next minute, you are acting strange. Just like the type of Jezebel. my brother. I saw you in there talking to someone. How will you explain that? I will advise you do not say what you are not sure of. You don't know what is happening. I repeat, let me go. I will not let you go. I want you to free Free my brother. Go back to wherever you belong. Allow him to get married to a woman who can be pregnant for him and give him an heir. I do not have time for your trouble. You pushed me? You have the gods to push me. Come back here. This is actually the very first time you will be visiting me in my house. And the cost of this land will not allow me to stand you outside. That's why I brought you here. Can you please sit down and explain to me what troubles you? Thank you. What? <coughs> are, are you okay? No, drink some water. <coughs> what, what's the problem? Why are you coughing? Wait. I'm, not, I'm not feeling too well. I'll come, I'll come back some other, some other time. <coughs> <coughs> what's going on with her? Why would she suddenly start to cough like this? This queen came here because something was troubling her that she needed to speak to me about. How come? Suddenly when I've given her audience, she was no longer able to say anything. What's going on?
Have you wondered why you're not able to conceive or be a child for the king? I have no option than to leave. She is the one making it impossible for me to conceive. And she's not even hiding it. But why? Why can't I even utter a word? It would be foolish of me to stay back to wage a war against the spirit who appears and disappears. People judge me but they don't know about my story And fighting my husband that's aware But our love is strong, stronger than the people We will stand together as one I want this to end I wanna come back home I'm praying to the gods to Ibube, help from me what you just said, it is obvious that the king is not even safe. Hey. I wonder this particular spirit is not after the king. The spirit is after me and my stay at the palace. Look at me. I am tired of being here as well. I want to go back to my husband, but I, I had to run for my dear life. Honestly, at this point, the king needs to know. Yes, because he is lost. You know, this disagreement between both of you has divided the kingdom, coupled with his refusal to marry four women representing the four market days. My darling, the king needs to know. And you think I don't want to talk to him? You think I don't want to tell him? I want to, but there is this force that just keeps stopping me. Whenever I try to tell him, it's, it's either I start stuttering or I don't even find the words to say to him. I want to. You know what? The jinx has been broken, now that you have spoken to me. We'll find a way around it. Okay, my dear friend. Cheer up. Come on, cheer up. People judge me, but they don't know about my story. And fighting my husband, that's so well. Stop right. Oh, <laughs> greetings, my princess. Keep your greetings to yourself. I know you are one of those girls after my brother, the king. Why are you here this early? My princess, why will you think so lowly of me? Why? Speak to me in a manner of decency. I might help you. I might help you win the king. In which of the market days were you born? With all due respect, Princess Apunam, I am not one of those ladies who throw themselves at your brother. I am here on a very different note. Can I see the king, please? Amanda, or whatever they call you. I will not let you see the king because I already know your mission. You will not see my brother, especially when you are lying about it. Listen, princess, please do not attempt to stop me, okay? And why, if I may ask, must you see the king? Listen, my message is for the king. I need to see him, please. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. You are not going to see the king. Okay. Fine. My message is from Queen Ebubu. If I cannot see the king today, I will definitely see him some other time. Wait, wait.
Did you say Queen Ebube? Yes, Queen Ebube. Please come with me. Oh, thank you. Stop there! Is something wrong with you? Are you stupid? Giving a royal passage to someone I've already sent out of the palace. An intruder? I am sorry, my princess, but this visitor has to see the king. I am the authority, and I have the power to decide on who sees or do not see the king. And do not drag this, for it has been registered in my spirit that your late father is connected with this. My princess. Please come. What? A balance! To what in my own oh, in my own father's house? I know what to do. And it will happen soon. Sooner. I will get this guy arrested. And he will rot in jail. Beautiful one. Um, you mean you actually went to report to the Inspector General of Police because I threatened to arrest you? Yes, my love. Look, there is nothing on earth I have not done to forget about you. My dear, it's not working out. My soul is already with you. Please tell that soul or whatever it is to close that gate because it is not going to work for I belong to another. How many times am I supposed to say this? Look, one, one. Both of you are already separated. Yeah, right. Let me be the man you will spend the rest of your life with. And I promise you, you will not lack anything. You know you, you are a true definition of what they call money misrule. Yes, of course. The only thing you have is money. But you see, you do not have what it takes to be the man in the life of a woman like me. Lovesy, ah. I have it. And I want to appreciate you for one thing. But you see that word you use, that the only thing I have is money. I really like that. In fact, I feel like signing a check for you for saying that. Look, I, I, there's nothing I cannot do for you. I can take you for a shopping at Hungary. Yeah. If you want to buy, we'll go there. Is it Dallas? If you want to go to Singapore, I can take you on a tour there. Yeah? If you're not comfortable with that, since you said you, you need a man that can do anything for you, look, I know how to prepare a camel. I can boil him doing. Is it? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Just. Wait. Okay. You know, I think I have a solution to this problem. Thank you. I am. Um, I have this very beautiful friend. She she is she is she's fantastic. Her name is Amanda. You will love her. I would want to introduce her to you, you know, so at least you can let me be. She likes Indomie. She likes Akamo. So, you know, you two will make a perfect couple. Never. No, what, what will I be doing with so-called Amanda or whatever when I can have you? My dear, look, I love you so much. I can I, I cannot leave you. Let me tell you. See, uh, since you said you don't like Akamu and the boil Indomie. Look, I will go and learn how to prepare Abacha and the Oppa. Hi! Yes, I can, I can even add it up with maybe uh, uh, all this. Uh, 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 it's, it's okay, it's okay. You know what? Um, I'm a little bit, um, I, I, it's been, I, I'm claustrophobic. I understand that you're a friend of um, the Queen. Yes, you are. My wife. The last time someone who posed as her friend showed up here, it was a very ugly experience. I hope, I hope that will not be the case today. 
On the contrary, Your Majesty. I am here on a very important note. I got into a serious discussion with your wife. And she was able to open up to me the reason she left the palace. It will be opened up to you on why she walked out of our marriage. Yes, Your Majesty. She told you why. Same reason she could not tell. Your Majesty, you just have to listen to the story. Then you will understand. Okay. All right. Let's hear it. Who do we have here? Oh, the toothless bulldog that wants to go on the battle with the lion. Wait, is that you? Oh. Are you by any means referring to me? Are you not the only one here? Why are you with another person that I don't know? Huh? You should thank your stars that you retrace your step. Yes. The God would have used you for a barbecue in the village square. And I would have partaked. Because you know I, I went and died with the gods. I don't blame you, Agaba. I do not blame you at all. In fact, you are looking for someone who will kill you. But I... Ichi Agumba, I will not be a victim of your unruly scheme. Oh, I will not kill you. Don't no you. one can kill Agumba. You don't die. You don't know. Ichi, go back here. Look, Ichi, if you are thinking of it, something can happen to you. I always see you. I tell you my life. Anytime, any day. Even with your red snake cow. Look at this little Zacchaeus. That is trying to. Challenge the gods. That's no problem. Oh, you see, I don't remind you. The gods have plans. So that we'll feast on your. Oh. This is our daughter. She doesn't get it. That's no problem. This is our daughter. Don't be the married apple. I like it. You don't even want to dispute of being like that. Look at Zacchaeus. Saying he's sorry for me. Sorry for your family. Oh. Okay. Fine. My message is from Queen Ebube. If I cannot see the king today, I will definitely see him some other time.
honestly, when you say, I am surprised hearing this. I am shocked. I'm equally surprised because I have no connection whatsoever with this evil spirit. And I don't know why this spirit is bent on frustrating me and, and putting an end to my lineage. You know, have you settled down to properly think? You know, I mean, search your heart to know if there is any business dealing whatsoever you had with this spirit being. Oh, boy, I have never had a reason to evoke any spirit. I called you here because I feel that you have the capacity to help me. Of course, no matter how tense the fire is, it is the water that will quench it. Initially, I was thinking if you took all the Dibia that was attached to my late father, but then my heart told me to reach out to you first. And I am here. The problem is identified, and trust me, we are going to solve this problem. I said for you because I know you are the only person who can help me unmask this problem. And I am so glad you came with this level of urgency to assist me. Trust me, you are going to live with the ram today. Oh, Ubuifi, do not send for the ram yet. For what I see in the palace has a connection to a charm. I don't understand. What charm do you speak of? It come. We are in the face of a beautiful woman. But this spirit is not actually a woman. All you need to do, I need you to dissect what you are saying. That spirit is the problem we have in the palace. Whether it is a sham or whether it is a beautiful woman or whatever thing you are seeing, I need you to make me understand it. Because it is only when I understand it perfectly that I will be able to decide on how I can handle it. I will be back in three days' time with you. Whatever it is, I will pin it down. My darling, why are you worried? I mean, I did the right thing. The most important part of this whole thing is that you collaborated my story with a clearer picture. Trust men, they will definitely solve this problem. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just surprised. Everything, I mean, everything I couldn't say just came pouring out so easily because you started the process. And uh, you are a good person. Thank you so much. My darling, you have to stop thanking me. I mean, what are friends for? Huh? I am very, very happy that your husband involved Obuifu Guanasanya in this. With that man, this problem will be solved. You will see. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. But you know, I'm still thinking. Why did the spirit decide to punish me?
Who are you, please? Who are you? I can't see you, but I can feel the aura of your evil presence. Show yourself. If you have come to say anything to me, show yourself so that we can have an agreement. But if you have come to kill me, I'm telling you here and now that you cannot kill Obu if you want Asanya, who is the custodian of Ophonesio, the masquerade of Umezora Kingdom. Stop interfering in my business because they will pay for Pandora. I will not warn you again. Why do I have this feeling that you just spoke? Why does it appear as if you are trying to say something to me? My ears are too sanctified for whatever nonsense you are saying. But I want to warn you. But if by chance you are the one tormenting the queen, I want you to free her already. Because if you try it again, I am going to raise the wand of an unwebber against you. And you are not ever going to survive it. I hate this man. And I will crush him with the slightest opening that comes my way. I was hoping that you would come with good news from Onyozi. Onyozi is going to speak in clear terms in the next few days. The only thing I want to tell you is that there is hope. Obwefi, how can you say to me that there is hope when the spirit that is tormenting my wife is yet to be tracked down? What if that spirit moves fast and kills Zebubi before you and I are able to do anything about it? Let me even shock you. This very spirit you speak of, the one that is tormenting your wife, was actually in my compound a few minutes ago. Wolf, are you telling me that you you saw the spirit and interacted with her? I didn't see her. But the totality of her evil presence was defined. I issued a very stern warning. And then I raised the one of Anuweba against her. If she enters my compound ever again, I am going to cage her into the fan of her funny show but a masquerade. And she's going to become one of the apostles of that ancient masquerade. I just want that spirit to set my wife free so that she can come back home. Oh yes, there is something the gods are teaching you. And I want you to Follow them slowly and learn it. Your wife remains your wife and there is nothing anybody can do about it. Father, I do not understand. Is this how you are going to fold your arms and allow people to look at us as losers? You did not succeed on the throne. Neither did I fulfill my dream of becoming the princess. Ikamaka, never. We cannot lose. 
All I need to do now is find my way back to the palace. I am on no out for a while. I want you to be rest assured that your father remains the owner of Uma Zora Kingdom. Nobody, I repeat, nobody can take that position away from me. Hmm? You see this husband and daughter of mine? I wonder how you both reason. Hmm. And you, Amaka, instead of you to go back to Enugu and concentrate on your job and look for a credible suitor to come and marry you, you are here, listening to local politics and making a fool out of yourself. Shut up, woman. What do you mean by village politics? Hmm? Don't you know that you've just interrupted my conversation with my dear daughter? I did not interrupt any conversation. In fact, both of you are not having any conversation. What you're doing is that you're planning coup against a man that has been chosen by the gods. <laughs> I wonder how you think you can succeed. Mother, this is the same thing you have done to me all my life. You have never supported me, never. Supported you for what? I will never support you. In fact, I will never because I cannot support evil. Now listen to me. I know no who cannot suddenly become a king. Yes. So allow the man to enjoy his reign. Let the king breathe. See us with this right now. What? You mean we've been living with an evil spirit in this house? For so many years. A spirit that is determined to terminate our lineage. And to tell you how brutal the spirit is, it would interest you to know that that spirit made a way for one Aswaya. I visit as his residence today. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is not good. Okay. It's not good at all. Uh, at this point, I think I need a bodyguard. Yes. I, I'm, I'm not forgetting. This is not funny. <laughs> You're not finding this funny, eh? Not at all. Ah. Who would have thought that my very vivacious sister, the no-nonsense princess Apunawa of Umwezora Kingdom, would be this scared? Look at she. You're petrified. Huh? <laughs> you see, I never knew this was what the queen was going through. Hmm. Yes. Now you know. You see, in life, we must learn not to be quick to judge. When you see an individual exhibiting strange characters, something that you don't understand, try to find out why that person is the way they are before you jump into conclusions. You didn't treat her well while she was here, and you know. Yes. You're very right. I judged everywhere in her. And she deserves my apology. I'll be happy if you make our time to go see her. You can forward you her address where she's currently staying. Huh? Okay. And as for Obalanze following you around, I don't think that it's that serious. And let me also add that he's my personal guard. And so he cannot follow you around. But you are at liberty to hire a maid, a couple of maidings. Got you. Uh. I said, you know, I know why I I fired those lousy maidens. The gossip was becoming unbearable. 
Yes. And I cannot take back my vomit. And it's fine. Relax. Nothing will happen to you. As you now know, that spirit has been here with us for years and did nothing to you. Apart from sending my wife out of the palace, nothing has happened. So nothing will happen to you now. Relax. Hmm? If you say so. I don't know who you are, but there is something about your presence that has not gone down well in my spirit. And I'm asking you, who are you? The same one you were not able to see before. I see. And now I can see you. What are you doing here? I mean, why are you coming here? What business do I have with you? I will not have you take me out of my comfort zone. You want to save them now? Where were you when I was being starved for years? Where were you? You know, as you finally decided to show your face, maybe you have to go a step further to explain and answer my question. Who exactly are you? I am Elimini, the fearless goddess. Do not cross my path, or I will crush you. Be warned. Be warned! Fearless goddess. Are you really a goddess? If you were a goddess, why will you have problem with the wave you wanna sign a man of the gods? There is a million. Who are you? She made it clear to me that if I as much say anything to anyone, she would kill me. She, she tormented me so much that I had to run for my dear life. You should have spoken up, still. I tried. Yeah. You should have tried harder. Because I promise you would have found the solution to the problem. There wouldn't have been any solution. That, that spirit is evil. She's brutal. I know how many times I tried to speak, but it, it never worked. I even had to run to a I, I, I couldn't say anything to him. There is just... There's just something with that spirit that each time I try to say something, it's, it holds back my tongue. I... That's okay. At least now we know what the problem is. And I promise you we are going to find the lasting solution to it. I'm scared. You don't have to be. I'm here. Oh, boy, Fi. Lily Lily is not a goddess. I thought as 
much. Because if we had or have any such goddess in Umar's or kingdom, I should know. But I never heard of that. There was a charm prepared by the former king for fame and fortune. But that charm was abandoned. Elelemili, a loose spirit, allowed herself to be used by the enemies of the palace. They tried to hijack the charm, but the charm resisted, and she decided on her own to wipe the entire lineage. Hmm. Now I understand it. Why she kept tormenting the queen. And why she said she was abandoned. Very strange. But Onuzi, how come this evil spirit or loose spirit, how come she has not attacked the king? That king has not gone away from the ancestors. The past that controlled the staff of Umu is still in his hands. You know what to do to solve the problem. Eh, uh Onuzi, -uh. I sent for you because I know you are the authority who can explain this and the solution thereof. I am prepared to pay. Tell me, how do we solve this problem permanently? You know what to do. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> Agumba. Will you lie that you did not see me? Yeah? Look at you. Look at you. Okay. Now, I mean I saw you. What happens? No, no, no. Do I have any business with you? Do I have any business with you? Uh, Akumba, why are you still upset? I am the one that's supposed to be upset. Because you chickened out of our plan, leaving me alone in pursuit of my quest. Okay, in pursuit of your quest. What quest? No, what quest? Tell me. What quest? Eh? Listen, I was under the impression that you were fighting for the general good, for the general interest of the people of Umezora Kingdom. Little did I know that you were just, just pursuing your own selfish interests. Honestly, I regret following you. I regret to learn. Agumba. Agumba. Obviously, Wangua. Eh? When have you suddenly started talking this way? Obviously, Ichikwanya. Oh, no. Let me tell you something. There comes a time when a man has to use his tongue to count his teeth. And for you, this is the right time. Better do that before it is too late for you. Imagine the people that are scared of me talking to me anyhow now. Agumba, I will so deal with you when I might have succeeded in ascending the throne. You will see. Back here. It must be you. Because I know every time you're working, you do your work. Yes. See, the only saving grace. Hey, 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 hold on, hold it there. Hold it there. Hmm. I know you talk to people anyhow. But I warn you. 
Never you cross my path. Otherwise, <laughs> okay. I can continue. The only seven girls you have is because you called yourself to a close room meet earlier now. I decided to stop. If not, your name would have been changed from Zacchaeus, my brother, to sorry. Is it? Did they change your red cap or is it? Okay. Hmm. You look at that one of my issue. Let me go back to what I was doing. Before your what, what, rudely interrupted me. You got much on. I'll be commander officer. Why do I have this feeling that this Nikon poop is not an ordinary phone? 